I'm Dave Mowitz talking with Marion Kalmer, Kalmer Heads. Marion, I've known you for a great long time. Before you got into manufacturing, Absolutely. when you were just a farmer, still <laughs> a farmer now. Yes. But of course, you started them with corn heads, especially the chopping heads. And uh, that's been how many years that you've been at this? Um, the first invention was the 15 inch corn head in uh, 1995. Wow. And uh, so we've kind of been playing around with corn heads, modifying them. And um, from there, then it spawned the idea of coming up with some parts right. to, that would improve the performance of corn heads. And uh, to where we are today, it's been a wonderful ride. Well, and you're, you've really gotten in the heads in a big way because last fall you introduced the first ever 12 inch spacing 30 row head which is right behind us here. Absolutely. And we saw that in last year's farm shows, didn't we? Yes, uh, we had uh, one of these at the Farm Progress Show, and uh, it was a real showstopper. A lot of people uh, coming in and taking a look at it. But uh, it was a, a, a real challenge. Oh boy, um, I bet. And uh, it took us a little while to come up with the parts and put it all together, run the prototypes. But boy, at the end of the day, this baby really shells corn. Well, and on 12-inch rows, too. You betcha. Now, you've been selling uh, a header for 15-inch rows, right, for quite some time? That, that is correct. So we've got a lot of experience on, on running in the narrower rows right. and the design of the poly and things like that. But it was just that challenge, can we go down to 12? And the reason is that if we, if we move to 12-inch rows, then we can go with 12-inch by 12-inch, which is 43,560. Right. I, I honestly think as, as we push toward consistently growing 300 bushel corn, that we're going to need to be in that 40-some thousand bracket, and the 12-inch row head will fit right into that profile. And the challenge there is, uh, the, the, the advantage here with 12 inches, of course, we're getting more leaf matter exposure to sunlight, right? Absolutely. We're reducing the in-row competition where the plants used to compete for sunlight, water, and nutrients. And we're trying to teach a concept of solid seeded corn so that everybody has their own space and that they're gonna maximize the interception of sunlight and we can maximize yields, we'll maximize weed control, maximize erosion control, and at the same time, we're hoping to put a few extra bucks in a farmer's pocket at the same time. But you're not done innovating yet. Not yet. You, you told me, if you let me in a little secret here, you're working on something that's been no one has been able to pull off yet that I know of. Right. But you're awfully close, and that is? We're working on developing the world's first twin row cornet. Wow. And that'll be on what kind of spacing then? Well, uh, how, well that's on a seven by seven, right? Seven inch space. Yeah, and, and I think right now what we're looking at is, is working on one um, for a 20 inch twin row planter, oh. which is essentially would give you 10 inch corn rows. Right. So 10 by 10 is 60,000, but nobody really wants to build a 10 inch planter. So we use 20 inch uh, twin row. So that's gonna give us a, a 12 inch row and an eight inch row and a 12 inch row and an eight inch row. And so our job is to see if we're sharp enough that we can figure out how to get stock rolls in every row and still be able yeah. to convey the ears up to the auger. How do you do that? And what do you do with the gear boxes? Mm. Yeah, and there's all gonna, the roller chain. And, and that's, the, that's the part of it that, that's still in the development process. Um, the gearbox thing, I, I think we can handle that one. Yeah. Um, conveying the ears up to the cross auger is, is gonna take some creative magic in there. So, how soon? Can you make a prediction? Next fall? It'll be a year or so. You got some prototyping to do and some testing. Uh, that is exactly right. So we've got a, a prototype that we're hoping to put together to run this fall. Ooh. If if our current ideas are sound ones, we should be able to pull it off. So stay tuned on agriculture.com or look at the Successful Farming Magazine because I think next fall we're going to come out there and see how the tests go.